Joshua Laycock, the founder and engineer of 3D Topo Incorporated. Uh, we make a number of 3D products, uh, and uh, this is the newest addition to the family. Um, it's a, right now, it's currently a three-axis CNC machine. Uh, I will be adding a fourth and fifth axis to it soon. We used a number of uh, 3D printed parts, including these cable chains. We also designed uh, this parameterized uh, limit switch mount. I also needed a customized part to attach this Z plate to our Z ball screw. I couldn't just print a plastic part for that because the forces uh, under load will be just too much for a plastic part. So I uh, use what I call as the lost PLA casting process and uh, essentially printed a, a plastic model of the part and then uh, made a mold and then burnt out the plastic and filled it with molten aluminum. Here's the casted part uh, in service on the machine. And what I'd like to do now is uh, show you the process that I use going from design to 3D print to the final casted part. So the first thing I did is downloaded the, the dimensional drawings for the ball screw that we're making a part for. And based on this, we had to look up the dimensions and lay out a drawing, uh, which I did here in Adobe Illustrator. And then what I did is I imported uh, these shapes that I needed into OpenSCAD. So there it is in OpenSCAD. And then next we did a 3D print of it. And there's uh, the 3D print. Then I test fitted it on the ball screw. And when it fit perfectly the way I wanted, I uh, printed it again at 103% uh, to account for the shrinkage of the uh, aluminum casting. There's our complete gated and riser and runner assembly. Let's go ahead and set that in there like that. All right, I think this looks good. Uh, we're just gonna let this set up for a couple of hours and then uh, we're gonna be ready to put it in the furnace and burn the plastic out. So we got our mold in here now. We're gonna heat it up to about a thousand degrees and melt out all the plastic. I'd say it came out perfect. All right, so we cut the part off the, the gate, and um, one thing I did besides cutting the gates off was I drilled the holes out. It's a very nice casting. So here's the moment of truth. We're gonna mate this with the part it was made for. And, oh, look at that. Just slides right on there. And, uh, oh yeah, all the holes are lined up perfectly. And see how we did on the height. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't think it could have possibly come out better than that.